What is up guys and girls, it's me, GameShark, and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I am going to be doing a Smappy Guide, which is a Stardew Valley modding application that you can use to obviously install mods for Stardew Valley. I have a lot of people asking me to make a video on this because people are struggling how to get the mods into their game since the new 1.3 update. I have made a, a video similar to this a long time ago, I'm, I'm guessing over a year ago for the old versions of Smappy, but now that Stardew Valley has a brand new 1.3 update and of course multiplayer as well, this guide will show you how to install mods and use them perfectly fine with the multiplayer as well and it's going to be nice and simple, very quick and easy so you guys can use mods without any issues and enjoy them just as much as me. So let's get straight into this video. Now I just want to clarify that you can only use the mods for the PC version. If you are on console such as PS4, Xbox One or Switch, you cannot use mods. So this is only for Stardew Valley PC version, which is on Steam. Now the first thing you do want to do before even installing any mod is backing up your saved data. So you can do this two ways. Go and find Stardew Valley in your Steam library, right click on it, go and just press backup game files. Then if you press next, you can choose Choose where your destination will be and you can just press next, rename it and this will back up all of your Stardew Valley saves on Steam. Now once you've done that there is another way to do it. You can just go into the search bar at the bottom left if you're using Windows 10 or any other Windows and type in percent app data percent. This will bring up a folder, you want to click that and then go and find Stardew Valley, go into your saves and they are all of your save files for Stardew Valley. You can just simply copy this folder and save it onto the desktop or anywhere you want into a specific place and they are your saves nice and saved in case anything goes wrong. So now if something does go wrong, because obviously mods are unreliable sometimes, at least you'll have your saves for your um, game. But I've never had a problem with any mods, I've never lost any game files in the years I've played this game, but it is always safe to do so. Now what you want to do is go into Google and type in Smappy. Press enter and this will bring up a website, the first top one which is Smappy slash Smappy.io. Go into this and you want to download the latest version. Now Smappy is the heart of Stardew Valley modding. This will load all of the mods. You can still get Steam achievements and it's compatible with the Linux, Mac and the Windows as well. You can uninstall it anytime you want and it is amazing. So you want to download the 2.7 which is the latest version. I do a direct download and you'll see it at the bottom here. And what I will do is I simply just drag this to the desktop because I use this as my working area. This is just the way I do it. Then you need to extract this file. In order to extract these kind of files, you need some extract tool. Now I am using WinRAR, which I'll put a link down below in the description. There is a lot of other ones there as well, free tools to use. And you just want to right click, drag anywhere you like and just extract to here. Now once this is extracted, you'll get the full file or the folder which you can access. Now if you click into this, you will have the Smappy 2.7 installer. You want to double click on that, go into internal, find the windows, and this is all of the stuff you're going to need. Now, keep that just to one side. Now what you want to go and do as well, is go into your Stardew Valley directory folder with all of your content in, because we want to go and install these uh, mods such as Smappy. So go into this PC, find your PC, go into program files times 86, find Steam, and then Steam apps, go into common, find your Stardew Valley folder, and this is where the mods begin. In order to get mods working, you need Smappy inside your game. So what you're going to do is find that folder, what we did earlier, where we extracted the, the Smappy installer. Now all of this content here, you want to just highlight it all and just drag it into your Stardew Valley folder. Replace all of the files, and now you will have some things here. If you've already got an older version of Smappy, it will replace them. If you've not got Smappy at all, it will just directly put them into there. And now you have a mods folder. Now in this mods folder is where all of your mods are going to be. This is anything from item spawners, cheat menus, and any other mod that uh, needs to be placed into this folder. Now since the 1.3 update has been released, there is a the new way in order to install mods is by using the content patcher. So you are going to want to install this from Nexus Mods and install that into here. I'll show you how to do that right now. So go on to Stardew Valley Nexus Mods, 
this is the website I'll put a link in the description type in content patcher now you're going to need this for none of every single mod so as well as smappy which is the most important content patcher is the next important you want to download this before even installing any mods this works with thousands and thousands of mods this mod basically loads content packs that change the game's images and data without having to replace XMB files so it makes modding so much more simple guys so you want to go into files and you want to find the latest file and the update and this this one here the 1.4 you want to press manual download and go into download you do need to have an account on Nexus mods in order to download them it's free just sign up with an email address and that will be fine now let's drag this to the desktop we want to do the same thing we want to right click extract this will bring up the content patcher folder and now what you want to simply do is drag that into the Stardew Valley mods folder so as you can see, this is the content patcher, this is the mods folder. You want to simply just drag that into there. It's going to replace it, I've already got it. And now you've got content patcher in there as well. You will get a save backup and a console commands on default with Smappy, I believe. But now you are set to download a lot of mods. So I will go through installing one mod just to show you how to do it. And, um, and it's as easy as that, guys. Let's go ahead and download this mod. This changes scarecrows into Pam, the Pam scarecrow. If you go into the requirements, it will tell you what this mod needs. He obviously needs the content patcher and of course, Smappy. So let's just go ahead and download this, the latest version. Just press manual download again. Drag this to the desktop. You want to extract it again using your extract tool, which is WinRAR for me. This will bring up a folder, you open it, you'll find uh, a Pam Scarecrow and if the mod requires the content patcher it will have the CP in the front of it which is in brackets. Now all you do is simply guys drag this straight into your mods folder. You don't need to open that folder, you don't need to move it anywhere in particular, you can just place it right in where the content patcher is and the content patcher inside your mods folder will load up any mod that requires it. Now in order to load your mods up in the game, you can't use the normal Stardew Valley application. This will only load the game up without mods. You will get a default Stardew application called Stardew Modding API. This is the one you want to load up. But before we do that guys, I will just do the item spawn and the cheats menu you as well to show you how that works now these just require smappy you don't need contents patcher for these so you will just get the item spawner file and the cheats menu file when you download them just like we did earlier and you just want to simply drag these into there as well these will load up using smappy not content patcher because not every mod will use content patcher only the ones that say cp in the front there but now we've got the item spawner and the cheats menu as well which will make it easy for me to showcase this scarecrow for you or the pam crow so now we can load the Stardew Modding API up with the item spawner as well. And this is what it says here. So it has loaded five mods up. We've got, CG, we've got the cheats menu, we've got the item spawner, console commands, the content patcher, the backup save, and the scarecrow pam. If something went wrong with the mod and it didn't load up, you would get an error message right there to tell you. Or if something needs updating, it will also tell you as well. Let's go ahead and load up the farm. And there we are on my main save. Now let's double check to see if the item spawner works. Press I and there we go. There's the item spawner. The cheats menu. That is working also. Now let's see if the Pam Crow is there. There we go. The rare crow number 5 out of 8, which is the female farmer, has now been replaced with the beautiful looking Pam. Well, I mean... It's not that beautiful, right? But it's definitely going to do a better job of scaring away them crows. And you can belong right there, Pam. And there we have it, guys. That is how to install Stardew Valley mods for the 1.3 update and the multiplayer update. These will work on multiplayer as well. Now, if you guys want the guide on how to install visual mods, such as my building changes, the grass, the trees, and um, or anything like that, animals, let me know down below and I will do that for you as well because that is a little bit different compared to the Smappy mods and the content patches. But this guide is anything from the cheats menu or anything that changes the game that uses content patcher, which most of the, the mods are nowadays without having to replace the XMB files, which was a nightmare. There we have it, guys. Very quick, very easy, very simple. Make sure to back up your saves. Make sure you load the Stardew Valley modding API application in order for these to work. Keep your Smappy updated at all times. Keep your mods updated and yeah you'll enjoy it so hopefully you enjoyed this i know a lot of people you've been requesting this video but here we go the latest version that's going to be the end of the video thank you all for watching hit the like button if you found it useful subscribe if you're new around here and i'm gonna end that one there thank you all for watching it's been me the king of the sea and i'll see you guys on the next video